from anything which been forbidden by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, which been told by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are the Waliullah. How do we know who is Waliullah? These are the two distinct things you should always know. This is the distinction Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given through Quran. And what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, once I choose them, I take the grief and fear away from them. These, the signs of these people are, they are kamil mu'min. They are muttaqeen. They, they watch, they're watchful of every aspect of their life. Whatever they're doing, they're doing for the love and sake of Allah. They're God-fearing people. They don't represent themselves for their own nafs. They, whatever they do, whatever they say, they do for the sake of Allah. I'm just going to narrate it from one of the hadith from Bukhari. It's a long hadith to understand it. And what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said: Once I make a wali, how do I make someone my wali? How do I make someone my chosen servant? And then what Allah Taala said: Woman ada waliin fakat asdathu bil har. Whoever have any enmity against my chosen one, against my slave, against the beloved one, against my wali. I declare war against them. This is how important this is to understand. But how does someone become a wali Allah? Whatever I obligate, ordain upon them, all the faraid, I give it to them. They start performing, establishing all those duties, whatever have made obligatory upon them. They start performing them. They don't just stay, whatever been obligatory upon them. They do additional things. They take a mile step ahead of those things. They become supervisory. They do additional things through nawafil, offering extra prayers. And Allah does it. Hatta hibba. Then I start loving them. But if I loved you, I would have listened to what you say. And once I love them, I become their hearing, their ears. Through who? Through what? They hear. I would have listened to you. I would have listened to what you say. But I would and and I become their eyes through what they see. Can you imagine whatever a wali Allah is hearing? They don't want to hear any any wrongdoing. They don't want to hear backbiting from people. They don't want to hear any evil things. And whatever they see, they only want to see the good things. They start distinguishing between khabaiz and atiyam. That's what the distinction Allah Taala gives them. Wa yadhaa lati yatushu biha. I become their hand. With what they hold things, with what they perform things, with what they conduct different chores, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "I become their hand." What I do, the whole thing, young she be ha. I become their feet with which they walk. They only go to the places, the places where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wants to see them. What the places, the locations where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will be pleased by for, for their uh, their appearance there. They only choose to do. And if they ask Allah's assistance, Allah Taala says, "I give them." And if they ask refuge in me, I give them. At any kind of calamity, any kind of scarcity coming in their life, they ask Allah's refuge, and Allah says, "I give them those." This is the one way to understand. But. I was reading Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 257, particularly, but I will I will recite the Surah uh, 256 as well. لا إكراه في الدين قد تبين الرشد من الغي. Allah Taala said there is no compulsion in deen, and the good and bad things has distinct itself clearly. It has clearly distinct itself. فمن يكفر بالتعهد ومن يؤمن بالله. Whoever denies Rejects the evil things, the bad doing things, and becomes a believer of Allah. فَقَدْ إِسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْقَرْوَاتِ الْوَصْقَةِ لَا إِنْفَسَامَ لَهَا وَاللَّهُ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ He has chosen to hold a handhold, a tied knot, 
which will never open because he's holding a knife to him by Allah wa ta'ala by believing on Allah wa ta'ala by saying back on every good deed and saying no to all the evil things Allah ta'ala says it will never open he's holding Allah that good and Allah is all hearing and all nor this is the part I want you to get to understand once Allah makes you wali how does Someone can make a lie from one. I can claim that I love Allah, but how Allah is saying, How do I love someone and what I do? Allah Allah is guardian, representative, a friend of those who amanu. The same thing we talked about, the firm believer. I bring them out of the darkness of evil things towards the divine light of Hadaya, of worship. That's what Allah says. Once I make someone my, my, my beloved one, that's what I do. And those who have made evil people, the Satan, their friends, what does the, the, the evil things do? The, or even your bad company, what does it do? It will take you from righteous path to the evil doing things. So brothers, this is the message I wanted to give everybody. To understand the concept, who are the Waliullah? They, for some reason in our culture, we think the Waliullah have some sort of a distinct uh, looks. They have probably horns on their head. They're wearing different clothes and showing different other things. Waliullah is whoever have a fear of Allah, whoever believe Allah in every aspect of their life. And they protect themselves, they safeguard themselves from all the evils that are. That could be your pairs. The first and foremost wali in your life is your own pairs. I can, if anybody can, if any brother, anybody who can hear me, show me one hadith or one ayah from Quran where Allah says, you ask that person, that person, and they will pray for you and I will accept it other than your parents. So the best wali at your home is your own parents. Serve them. Help them. Listen to them. Obey them. This is the, the best way you can make yourself towards the way of Jannah. They are your best wali. The, your best representative. Your best helper. So we need to understand these things. What are the wali? It could be your best friend. It could be a you know, like a janitor at your at your workplace, you don't know because the taqwa is in their heart, the iman is in their heart. How can you tell by what they do, how they conduct their daily chores? This is how you tell who is a waliullah. Yes, do we have a history of a subcontinent and all those Middle Eastern waliullah, different waliya karam? We love, respect them. But the best part, if you really believe in those people as waliullah, follow their education. Follow their teaching, follow their actions, not just by claiming that you are a follower of certain, certain person. <clears throat> Show, represent, just like if you love Rasulullah <laughs> The best idea, way of life is only in Rasulullah's lifestyle. Show through your actions that you are a follower of Rasulullah <laughs> <laughs> Well, five minutes.